Hey guys, welcome back to more F1 2018 and part 1 of season 2 of our F1 2018 career mode. Who are we going to choose to go into the next season? I mean, you guys will have already seen on the thumbnail who I have chosen to be in um, partnership with the season. Obviously, if you haven't seen season 1, then make sure you do go and check it out before you watch any of this. But uh, we will be doing season 2 with the McLaren team so we need to negotiate a contract with them first though this is what I have negotiated so far we're going to be the first driver there obviously with a world champion I think that's fair enough uh, expected qualifying 10th expected race uh, finish 8th if you don't know McLaren became the fourth best team in our career mode so I think those will be achievable early on in this season I've also put in these perks we'll see if uh, this works let's try again Ooh, apparently, apparently no, not yet. Ouch. So, uh, <laughs> um, we're going to move that down to level 2. We're going to move that down to level 1. Hmm. I think two upgrades per department should be enough. Let's have a look. Yes. Easily. So start saying your goodbyes. You'll be moving to the new team for the next race weekend. And there we go. We're now going to... Uh, join McLaren um, next season, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, you can already see we've we've signed the contract. Um, but there we have it. That's how season one ended. Those are the season results. I don't know if we'll be able to see them as easily next season. Hopefully we will be able to. But hopefully we can add a few more trophies to the cabinet with McLaren. Let's go. Oh, so season one results. Let's have a look at this. So that's just a recap of it. Um, and you can see the vehicle uh, performance. Obviously, Mercedes the best. McLaren fourth best, though. So hopefully we'll be able to do something good with them. Um, and maybe do some upgrades over the, over the winter. That would be uh, really good. But uh, you can see, coming into Australia now. And uh, hopefully our teammate is going to be Fernando Alonso. I am worried that will come in and it'll be Stoffel Van Dorn. Uh, and that would be rather awful. But hopefully you guys are looking forward to this. Make sure you do subscribe for regular F1 content if you are new around here. And uh, yeah. Right. Here we go. Welcome back. It's going to be one heck of a season, I think. To be honest, I don't think we've done the best job maintaining our performance through this regulation change. So we're going to be playing a bit of catch-up this year. We're counting on you, but you've got the whole team behind you. So it is Fernando Alonso. You can see him just there. We're going to be Hope you enjoyed your break. going up against him. The car's come a long way over the last year. And let's continue pushing our performance forward this season. So here we go. Welcome to the team from Zach Brown. Uh, there's a few tutorials, contract s summary as well, which is good. Uh, goals update, uh, qualify sixth or better. That's going to be tough in the next couple of Grand Prix. But look at the race. There's, there's actually going to be monsoon-like conditions in the race, which is going to be uh, the, the toughest possible start for us uh, and the car. And as you can see, that is uh, the effect of the regulation changes. So we've dropped back behind Renault now. Um, all of our durability is gone. The powertrain has been rescued somewhat. And uh, we haven't got any resource points at all to start the season with. So, you know, our backs are up against the wall um, as we go into this season. But uh, hopefully by, say, Spain, we'll be able to get some really good upgrades in the car. And uh, and you can see the, the, the progress. You can see Mercedes and Ferrari made massive drops. But Renault made a massive gain over the winter. The the bottom five teams all made progress. Red Bull uh, sort of plateaued a bit and, and we've lost a little bit. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to catch up soon and bring McLaren back to their glory days. So here we are in Q3 then and... Yeah, about an, a week and a half since uh, I last spoke on this video. But um, yes, uh, we managed to get through to Q3 just about in 10th place. 
Um, there's a lot of work to do with this car, and I, I really do understand that. And it's a long-term project to turn McLaren back into a championship-winning team. Hopefully, we can do it um, by the end of this year, uh, winning races and things. That's that's the ultimate goal. Um, but yeah, I've only got one set of tyres left for this final run in qualifying. Uh, Lewis Hamilton currently on pole, just ahead of Valtteri Bottas, who was obviously my replacement um, in Mercedes. So, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see what we can do. Hopefully, we can pull out something special and maybe um, qualify higher than than tenth. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean we've been doing one twenty two sixes, so. A couple of more tents and, and we might be able to, to get into the top seven or something. That's That's got to be the goal. So here we come around the final couple of corners. It's been a bit of a rubbish lap, to be honest with you. I'll be very surprised if this is anything better than 10th. It's probably going to be in the 123s. We're coming through now. A 122.7. We do actually manage to move up to 9th. Oh, no, I thought that was 9th. I thought... Um, I thought Sainz only did a 122.8, but apparently I was wrong. And there you go, Sainz uh, ended up doing a 22.5. So, are Hamilton, Bottas, and Sebastian Vettel. It's time to leave for now, but we'll be back tomorrow when the Grand Prix itself gets underway. So you have it. Then we qualify 10th. Uh, a little bit disappointing, I guess, but uh, I don't think there was much more time in that. You know, maybe we could have got eight. I don't think we could have challenged Hulkenberg for seventh, but that is a good starting point for the season. We beat Fernando Alonso, and hopefully, we can get some points in tomorrow's race. New drivers, new cars, and a new Formula One season. But it's the same Albert Park that we've come to know and love for more than two decades now that hosts the first round of a 21 race championship, taking us from here in Melbourne, Australia, across the globe, before we eventually reach the season finale at the Yas Marina circuit in Abu Dhabi. We're a stone's throw from the enormous Port Phillip Bay for today's race at the 3.3 mile Albert Park circuit. It's a bumpy racing surface here and the 16 corners could prove especially difficult in the wet conditions. Watch out for a safety car at some point during the Grand Prix. I'm joined today in the commentary box as I will be throughout this season by a great racing driver, former F1 competitor, former world champion, and dare I say it, all round top bloke as well. It's the one and only Anthony Davidson. And tell me, here we are, first Grand Prix of the season, and it's gone and rained on us. I imagine that that's not especially helpful for the teams who are still trying to figure out, of course, what kind of performance they're all capable of. First of all, Crofty, and thanks for the glowing introduction. I just want to say it's a real privilege to be here. I can't wait to see what this competitive field has in store for us this season. Now, in regards to the weather, you're absolutely right. You know, we've just come here off the back of testing. It's the first opportunity to really gauge where the reliability is, where the performance is, how you stack up against your competitors in the Grand Prix. And now it all has to be kind of put on hold for a bit. So now the question becomes, who can be adaptable? who has the wet weather pace and who can make best use of these difficult circumstances to come out on top in these conditions. With that then, let's run through the grid order. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Raikkonen, Daniel Ricciardo and Verstappen, Holkenberg, Grosjean, Sainz and the captain. Stroll, Alonso, Kevin Magnussen, and Ocon, Leclerc, Sirotkin, Pierre Gasly, and Brendan Hartley, Ericsson, and Sergio Perez rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Right, let's be patient going into turn one. We want to be in a good position for the rest of the race. Good luck. So here we are down on the track then, and it's extreme wet conditions, which is not the best start of the season, it has to be said, uh, especially when you haven't played the game for quite a while, but um, no, season two, I'm getting underway today then, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be a good one, 
Um, and, you know, I don't think we're going to be in the, the championship picture this season, but hopefully we can um, get McLaren back to where they belong. Learning the gears, so go through them all if you can. So, um, yeah, uh, obviously this series is not going to be daily anymore. Um, and certainly over the next week or two, it's going to be a little bit infrequent because, uh, as always, September, a very busy month for uh, myself. So uh, there might be a couple of episodes out this week. I, I really don't know. The, the, the plan is to, to basically do um, this one today and then maybe one more this week. Uh, and then uh, we should get a little bit more regular after next week. So I apologise about that, but I just really don't have the time to be doing F1 weekends um, and what have you. It, it is quite time-consuming. and um, Yeah, so that's uh, what's going to be happening there. Other games as well are, are going to be affected. I think uh, it's going to be a bit of a mishmash of videos this week, but, you know, one week a year. Who cares? But uh, no, thank you for all the support on season one. Unprecedented support. Uh, a lot of you guys in the comments seem to really be enjoying the racing on this year's game and uh, enjoying the series in general. So that really does uh, mean a lot. So thank you very much. I am going to try and use less flashbacks this season. It, uh, it did get a little bit ridiculous after France when we had that controversy with Verstappen. Um, and, you know, looking back, probably shouldn't have used as many as I did but uh, you know we'll try and reduce how many we use this season it won't be as uh, important to to win every race this year so um, yeah well, hopefully you guys are looking forward to it and something different at least uh, a bit of midfield battling like we've done on the last two F1 games uh, to be done in this game so yeah, I mean, uh, some people have, have let me know that lean mix is the best in in uh, these sort of conditions. So we'll probably switch to that when we're uh, ready for the lights. But I would be amazed if everybody got through this first corner without making contact. It's uh, torrential conditions. And, uh, yeah, certainly after our start in Italy last year... So here we go, ready for the lights. Lights out, away we go. And it's a, not a bad start. Lance Stroll off the grid well, as is Fernando Alonso. Look at him, he is absolutely flying, but we need to take it nice and easy into the first turn. Oh, Perez went a little bit sideways there. Oh, it's Ocon, in fact. Perez started at the back of the field. I don't know why. He got some sort of penalty. Um, it must have been in qualifying or something like that we are going down the inside a little bit of contact with Fernando through that turn but uh, we do get through safely at least and we're around the outside of Kevin Magnussen so we are sort of getting back into it but uh, go down the inside of Fernando and lose a little bit of our front wing going down front wing it'll need replacing if it takes too much damage but should be okay for now. We've got a little bit of clean air, which is uh, always important in these conditions, so that we've got a little bit of visibility back. Um, we're back up to 11th place. Still not quite back to where we started the Grand Prix, unfortunately. Uh, but here comes Fernando Alonso. He's having a look around the outside. We take the inside line and manage to, to get through. I don't think there's going to be any love lost there this year with uh, us two fighting hard in the midfield. But uh, yeah, we're just looking to get some points today, Not nothing special. But uh, these conditions certainly offer us a, a little bit of an opportunity to maybe get a little bit closer to the front than we usually would. But, uh, you know, we'll just have to see. I can already see that the, the downforce on the car is a lot worse. So I might have to uh, switch that up a little bit at the pit stop uh, rather than replace it, which will obviously cost us a lot more time. That's if we do pit. I really don't know what the, the weather's going to be like in this Grand Prix, but uh, 11th place, not the not the worst start in the world. 15 minutes till we see this heavy rain ease up into light rain. Four wets seem like the best tyre for now. Safety car deployed. 
Well, safety car. Watch your delta. Make sure you keep it positive as we catch the pack. Safety car deployed. So, yeah, we managed to catch up the uh, stroll and Grosjean over uh, the course of a, a few laps. I think myself and, and Fernando behind um, managed to sort of pull away from the the, the, the train. Um, you know, the safety car. I'm not complaining about it. I don't think we're going to be coming into the pits at any point, so it doesn't really help us in that respect, but um, it at least brings the pack back together, gives us a chance to, to get Grosjean and Stroll and maybe get a bit higher up the points than we were expecting, but Renault uh, certainly do seem um, certainly do seem very quick this year, so they're, they're going to be tough to beat today, That's that's got to be our target, but... Um, Hopefully we can get Fernando into the points as well. That would be uh, amazing. But the safety car certainly does bring a, an element of variation into this race. All right, pick up a pace of touch, please. We need to close to within 10 car lengths of the car ahead. Okay, let's get ready to go racing again. The safety car is in this lap. When the field accelerates, remember, there is no overtaking until the green flags. Safety car in this lap. Okay, so the safety car's in uh, at the end of this lap. Uh, it's pretty much Noah's Ark at the minute um, until Stroll and, and Grosjean ahead of us. But, um, yeah, uh, I, I, it was a, a long safety car period, and considering nobody's out of the race, uh, it's, it's very odd. We've got some nice screenshots, though, one of which you'll probably see on the thumbnail. Uh, some frequently asked questions uh, in this series. Uh, do I use a controller or pad? I use a controller. Um, is the, the main one. Uh, yeah, we've got to return to the correct position. So we lost a little bit of time there. Caught napping. Me talking about controllers, of course. Uh, <laughs> but here comes Fernando Alonso. This could be him moving in to 11th position and well we got somebody else on the inside I think it's Magnus and we go around the outside and well I, I see that as not illegal <laughs> because we were forced wide by Alonso and Magnus and as you can see coming three wide into that turn there we did take avoiding action but we managed to keep it going Alonso coming across the face of Magnus in there. Uh, I forgot what the other frequently asked question was. That, uh, um, oh yeah, what difficulty I, I play on. It's 98 AI difficulty uh, that we play on at the moment. But we, we might move that up uh, depending on how we do in the next couple of races. Um, this race, I think the difficulty is about right. We won't eat a couple of turns quicker than Fernando and that could easily change track to track. So We'll keep an eye on it, and if uh, it is getting too easy or too hard, we'll adjust it as necessary. But, uh, yeah, it caught napping a little bit in that safety car period. A little bit frustrating that we'd done all the hard work to catch up. And um, we sort of let that slip again, but another eight laps yet. Virtual safety cars out. There's not much point in coming into the pits. Um, although one of the Ferraris is in. I'm not desperately sure why. Okay, slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. Ah, oh, he's out of the race. They are out of the race. Okay. So Kimmy's out. So yeah, Kimmy right then out of the race first race of the season, now that could have a, a massive impact on his championship, but that, what it does mean is we are now in the points, uh, but still quite a little bit behind Lance Stroll. Now what the safety car did do is uh, bring the light rain a bit closer to us, so we are expecting to end up on intermediates in the next couple of laps according to Jeff, but uh, who knows at this stage.
Well, we just uh, duped Fernando Alonso there. He must have locked up or something on that uh, corner. We'll have another look at it on the replay. He went to the inside line. We sort of broke a little bit earlier. And yeah, Fernando just went a little bit wide. Uh, so now he's in the clutches of whoever that is. Uh, I think it might be Pierre Gasly um, behind him. Uh, but uh, no, we're still in 10th position. Can't really make any ground on, on Stroll. And if anything, we're, we're just losing time to him. Uh, the pace is really, really funny at the moment. But uh, yeah, three laps to go after this. I don't think we're going to be changing tyres. It is 6.7. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. So we're on to the final lap of this Australian Grand Prix in Season 2. And yeah, the pace has just been off in the last few laps. And Jeff said last lap we're losing a, a, a second a lap to stroll ahead. And, you know, maybe it's, it's down to the... Uh, front wing end play where we just haven't got the downforce now that the conditions are a lot better and we can go theoretically faster through corners we just don't have the the, the downforce and uh, you know Alonso and Gasly are right behind us so Rockin has even managed to catch up so we'll be really happy with a point out of this race so yeah if this race was going on another 10 15 laps, i.e., a 50% race, uh, we would have had the, the dry conditions towards the end of the race, which would have been really interesting. But uh, as it happens, I think it's going to be Valerie Bottas who's won this Grand Prix, and it is. So he's managed to continue my mantle of winning. Uh, the race in Abu Dhabi last year and he takes the lead of the championship Hamilton will finish second I don't know who else is on the podium obviously Raikkonen uh, out of the race so it could be anybody but we could lose our final point here if we're not careful we're coming around the final turn now and Alonso drag race to the line we should win it and we have done so we have come home with the final point there to the next race not our best day by any means that's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes and I have to wonder Anthony Davidson just what set them apart from the competition here well they clearly have a car that comes alive in the kind of conditions we were dealing with today it's a very balanced package in the wet and what that means is that the drivers have confidence to attack Having that confidence gets you on the power earlier, it lets you brake later, and can put you a long way up the road. So as I say that, we can see the drivers coming out now to collect their trophies. It's yet more silverware to take back to their base in Brackley after another excellent Grand Prix. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Valtteri Bottas takes the lead of the Drivers' Championship. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? Well, you put me in a bit of a tight spot today, but I think I'll go for Pierre Gasly. He kept a cool head under pressure and made the most of some difficult circumstances. On to the constructors then. Mercedes moved to the top of the table. After all that excitement, it's time for a lie down, I think. Thanks for joining us, and goodbye until the next race. So there you have it then. Valerie Bottas wins the first Grand Prix of the season with Hamilton in second. Vettel finishes third. Ricardo and Verstappen fourth and fifth. Hulkenberg and Sainz, a really good result for Renault. Sixth and seventh. Grosjean finishes eighth. Stroll in ninth. And we finished tenth. Just a couple of tenths ahead of Fernando Alonso. But you can see our fastest lap time was well down on pretty much everybody else it may well have been the slowest all day um actually no hartley was slower than us um but yeah second slowest so i i 
I'm going to put that down to the front wing, but maybe we're just rubbish. Who knows? But that is where we're going to leave it for this episode. If you have enjoyed that, then make sure you do leave a like down below. It really does help me out, especially with the start of a new season. Subscribe for more regular F1 content, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.